Okay, so I literally just did that video um, and thought it best to stop it and <clears throat> this is the bad boy. I'm sure it would have been a lot more full but I had a bit of an accident because I don't have a jug yet, a jug to sift the juice into or strain the juice into. So. Um, yeah, what we got here, so second second juice after five days of lemon, cayenne pepper, you know the drill, um, le and yeah, agave nectar. Um, so what we got here is cucumber, two and a half cucumbers, half a pineapple, a whole punnet of grapes, green grapes. That's it. How f how simple is that? How simple is that? I didn't get it up. I haven't really been looking at any re well, I have been looking at recipes, but when it comes to juices, I th I think it's more of a luxury to um, to go by a recipe because they obviously try and test it and find a almost like a perfect like when you smell a flower and and it's just like that perfect scent you're like what what if you've never done that and you want to appreciate life a little bit more <laughs> next time you walk past a flower because they're not round all the time you know normally you can smell some sort of odor coming from them but if you really get up close, you know, stop what you're doing and just get up close to it and stick your nose in it, whatever flower it is. You <sighs> I've never appreciated smells, you know. I, I've mentioned this in a previous video. Because not eating also, not eating makes you appreciate smells so much more. So much more, you know. You didn't think that it was possible because you're just going about doing the things that you do, how you do them, you know, the normal way, and that's the way that's good for you. And, and there's like so many layers, there's so many layers of understanding. So often, when we're on our daily thingy before, you know, daily routine, doing our things, you know, which is a good thing, progression, self-progression, I'm sure that that's beneficial, right? However, if we don't stop and just like take things in, be aware, if we don't, if we're not medit, if we don't do our meditation, then our minds are constantly in this loop of trying to do these things, these routines, these conditions that you have to do to feel fulfilled, you know, but what's going on in there, it's never still, it's never, it's never in a state of, uh, what's the word, wait for it, it'll come to me. Wait one second. Um, in a state of homeostasis. Just feeling, look up the word, you know what it means. I don't really know 100%, but I get the general gist. It's basically feeling at one feeling like you're meant to be here um, or you know in the plant kingdom they're in their natural habitat I believe they are but in a human con you know, concept it would be more feeling of peace harmony and blimey doesn't this do that for you 
doesn't this do that for you? So like, if you're not very keen on meditation, or um, you haven't got into yoga yet, uh, definitely, definitely um, restricting your diet, rest restricting, giving yourself space. You know, that's what I'm, that's what in theory a juice fast is. It's giving your body space. You know, also you spend a lot less time in the kitchen. You know, but you enjoy it a hell of a lot more. And I, I, like I said, I lost a load of juice. I must have lost that much juice because I didn't have a jug. And I felt like there was this, there was, uh, it was like a, a feeling of, um, man, it was a feeling like, darn, like, why? But not in a, like, not in a really negative way. It's just like, you know that, you know that this is like life's nectar, life's nectar. It's, it's what we need, it's what we're needing. A little bit of life, to be present with life, so. Appreciate, I'm so appreciative of everything now. I'm so appreciative. Try and stay that way. It will fluctuate. I'm sure how appreciative I am will fluctuate. But I'm alive. You know, you're alive. This is stuff that potentially doesn't ain't really matter to the global person. <laughs> and I am a normal person too. So it's easy to fall into the same stuff, stress-related issues, thought patterns, not really wanting to progress, just wanting the pleasure stimuli to keep satisfied, a constant stimuli, stimulation. But this is stimulation, for sure this is stimulation. This is going to get me buzzed. Well, actually, I don't know how it's going to get me. But the last one, the apple one, Got me apple and broccoli. <laughs> Whoa! Got me buzzed, man. When I was drinking, I was like, you can feel like I was literally like, what is this? Scream! Because there's something magical. There is something magical about this. But discard everything I just said because it doesn't matter until you find it out for yourself, basically. Until you find it out for yourself. All of that shit that I just said is like me pointing in a direction that may be helpful, but unless you want, unless you want it, unless you've been to the lows, then you're not going to want the highs, the highs. So, cheers, peace, okay, whatever I'm doing with my hands at the moment. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Every time, the mouth's just like... Mm. Mm. Okay. Well... That is a whole other level there. And how simple. Pineapple, grapes, cucumber. But boom, does something good you like. Just to finish, I say, if you haven't seen any of John Rose's stuff, John Rose on YouTube, check him out. Because he's where I get most of my inspiration. Him and... Um, Fully Raw Christina. Those two, she got her inspiration from John Rose. So if you haven't watched John Rose, I'm sure you have, watch John Rose and um, 
there's something that he said that I'm going to finish this on, which uh, he said is an old traditional saying, an old saying, um, which goes, Chew, Chew your drink and swallow your food. So what does that mean? Chew your drink, swallow your food. Swallow your food means chew your food so much so that it's almost a liquid. You know? We're just trying to optimize the amount that we can digest, you know, the goodness that we can digest, right? Um, So yeah, before before you swallow, obviously I'm on this fast, so I didn't even think about that right now. But the um, chew your liquids, chew your drink, chew your liquids is um, is the idea. I didn't know this. You know, I find it really fascinating that um, when you when you keep the liquid in your mouth, you know and kind of like swish it around you know before you swallow it gives the the um your taste buds you know receptors send a message to i believe it's your colon um i don't know all the scientific stuff so you want to look at john ways for that but um it sends a signal to the organs that need to release enzymes, the right enzymes to properly absorb the food. So on the food side, you want to swallow your food because you want to try and optimize the amount of nutrients, information that's, that you're absorbing. And information um, and chew your drinks because it helps the whole process it helps your body re release the enzymes it needs to um, to get all this goodness in you you know and not just piss it out the other side you know take your time with things so yeah that's all I'm gonna say going on a little bit Depends how rushed you are as an individual, but um, either way, you're here now. So, oh, love and live. Oh, I'm loving living life. Love and living life. I pray you are too. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Thank you.